Hey, my name is Marcel van Wimmerden. I'm a product design manager at GitLab. And this is a small little side project that I built over the recent couple of weeks. Over the last quarter, my team has been busy working on improving navigation inside of GitLab. And one of the biggest challenges we found is that pretty much all the navigation in our own UI is project centric. You have to move into the projects you're working in to then be able to dive deeper and get to the issues, merge requests, or other objects that you care about. But we wanted to see whether we could enable users to come towards the GitLab activities in a more user-centric kind of way, to see everything across all of the projects you are working on. And while the team was figuring this out, I was trying to see if we could build something smaller that would allow us to move more quickly here. And that's how I came to building this small little side project here. What you can see is that we have a top part that's very similar to what we already have in the GitLab UI, where you can jump into the issues, MRs, or to-dos. But what's different is that here it's, a, it's possible to move more quickly between the items you really care about. You can jump very quickly from the merge requests that you have assigned to you to the merge requests that you have open review requests for. You can also look at the ones you have previously approved and that have already been merged, just an example. What we are now seeing for the first time here as well is a list of all of the recent commits you have made in one place. You can navigate between them. You will also see that there's a pipeline status if that's applicable, but it allows you to have a very quick look at what are the last pipelines I've been running. And what we can see here is not only that it will give you this information in an active way, but if we actually trigger a pipeline now, you will hopefully be seeing something coming up very quickly here. And let's just wait for a second. Wonderful. As you can see here, we get a system notification that this pipeline is now running. And as soon as it succeeds or fails, you should see the same kind of information in the notifications here. That's not the only notification. You can also get notifications for whenever somebody pings you so that you get a to-do. So when I do this, I comment and we wait again for a couple of seconds. You'll see both the new to-do and the succeeding pipeline notification just came in. While the pipeline was running, the icon of the app also changed so that you can see with one quick glance, is it still running or did it already succeed? Other things we have visible here on this page is a list of the GitLab objects you've recently looked at. It collects all of this information from your local browser history. And that's why currently only Chrome, Firefox, and Edge are supported. Safari sadly does not give us that information that easily. When you go into the recently viewed overview, you can go back for up to 10 days and see everything you've looked at. But you can also filter the list here by, for example, onboarding, if you know exactly what, you're, what you care about. Another way to look at things here is to get a list of your favorite projects. And by default, this is populated with the projects that you have start and that you at least have developer permissions in. And when you then jump into a single project, you'll see a very similar kind of overview where you have the commits at the top and then the top three most recently created issues and merge requests. And you can jump in directly and get the same kind of filter navigation here that allows you to look at what other merge requests I have created in this project. Another functionality I've built in here is to get a list over the most recent comments you've made. And while you can also jump into the details, this is a page that requires a lot of API, API calls to different endpoints. So that's why sometimes it's loading a bit slower. 
but you can navigate around and you can see all of the recent comments you've made and also jump back into them. A final piece that I built in is a bookmark feature. This is something that came up very often in feature requests, but where we still are a bit more worried about how much it already aligns with our current to-do functionality. And I wanted to be able to see directly how it works and how we could make this happen and what kind of drawbacks it would have. So whenever you have an issue you really care about, and let's just pick one from the list here, I just have to grab the link, go back to the app, enter the link, edit, and now it stays here until we, you remove it. What I also built in already, because this app is really small and was rather easy to do this, is a dark mode, and it usually comes by default in dark mode. But as soon as you switch, you'll see the entire app is set up in this different theme. And we also have the functionality built in to remove projects from your overview so that your list gets smaller or add new projects you care about. Finally, because all of this is really important for us to understand how people want to make use of this more user-centric approach, I've built in an uh, analytics connection so that we get very detailed information about what areas do users click in. It's never tracking what kind of content they interact with, so we are never sending the commit, the issues, or anything else towards Google Analytics. It's really just sending an information, did the user change the theme? Did the user go to the recently viewed overview? Did the user add a favorite project? That's the kind of information we are sending up to the analytics endpoint here, because that will hopefully allow us to really understand better what we need to enable users before we build this into our own product. And that's why it's also very important, especially during this phase, for us to have as many users as possible enable this so that we can really learn a lot from this. Finally, and as I can show this here when I log out, there's already functionality built in that you can either log in with gitlab.com, which will bring you to the typical login screen, or you can use a self-managed GitLab instance. So you only have to enter the access token and self-managed instance URL. All of this is currently available in our repository that I will link here. But yeah. If you would like to try it out, feel free to go to releases, download the newest version, and then afterwards leave feedback, either in issues or create merge requests. You can see the entire source code directly in the repository. And that's also what I really wanted to enable because of the analytics aspect. You can see directly what is being sent up. If you look at, for example, the visitor variable, you'll be able to see it's sending only the page views or the events up, but never the actual content, and only if the user has enabled this. So looking forward to all of your feedback and looking forward to seeing more people using it. Thank you.